So for today's 1.19 video, I'll be focusing on 3 froglight blocks. The ochre, verdant, and pearlescent froglight can show you some simple lighting designs and possibly some build ideas. As much as possible, I won't be using an invisible item frame or debug stick on this video because you guys have been asking me to make them all survival friendly. With that being said, let's begin. For the first build, we have a street light design using frog lights. This is the easy build you can make and depending on what color of frog light you're using, you have to match it. For example, we have verdant frog light, so we have to combine it with warp planks to blend it with the green tint of the frog light, which is really nice. The same applies to the pearlescent frog light and you can add another one to the other side if you're making a pathway on both sides. And of course, you can use it as well if you're building a city or decorating a suburban pathway. You can use this streetlight design that's simple and minimal. I also went ahead and created a Japanese street lamp just because the color of the mangrove fits well with the Japanese style building. This is a bit complicated to make because of the armor stands, but it's still doable in survival. And if you want to go for a smaller design with more shape than the taller one, you can use a cauldron, anvil, and some dark oak wood blocks. This design fits in more on the Japanese garden area because of the aesthetic it brings. And since we made a Japanese street lamp design, I figured I'd make a wooden Japanese Toro using mangrove blocks and red leather bricks. This will match nicely with the pearlescent frog light because of the red purplish tint it brings. Again, we're matching the color of the frog light so the whole build has a clean approach and doesn't look too off. And that's pretty much it for the wooden Japanese Toro. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. With this design, you can make two or more variations. You can go for polished andesite, birch wood, whichever you prefer. For number 3, you can also create a Japanese soji lamp with scaffolding, ochre frog light, and some spruce and oak trapdoors if you want a miniature version of the Japanese Toro. You can also swap the scaffolding into a cauldron so it looks more solid and rigid. It's basically like this small Japanese lamp except for the anvil and without the small roof. And yeah, if you want more Japanese builds like this one, you can check out my 16 Japanese build hacks where I made a bunch of unique ideas like the sushi, samurai helmet, kimono, and all that Japanese decorations you can think of. The link will be placed down in the description. Just like what we did to the previous one, we can use all 3 frog lights to make a lamp design. And all you need is just 2 armor stands and any blocks or slabs for detail. Mainly slabs, trapdoors, and pressure plates like I did to this one. You can also make a tall frog light lamp by adding another frog light above. You can as well make an amethyst lamp which is my personal favorite and it gives off a pleasant purple glow at night. It should make a great statement piece for your house. There are just a lot of designs you can create just with these and if you want a tutorial on these two lamp designs, you can check out my second channel. Once again, the link is down in the description. Next up are the hanging frog lights, which are easy to make. First, you're gonna wanna make a chain rope, make sure it's about 5 or 7 blocks long. Then you're gonna need an invisible item frame which we'll use to place our dragon head so we can connect it to the fence and the horizontal chain seamlessly. As you can see, the chain and the fence are now tied together and you can now make your hanging frog lights. Again, the same thing goes on top of the chains, an invis item frame with a dragon head so it connects. And now we have our hanging frog lights. 
If you somehow have a tall tree, you can hang it as well on the branches of the tree. I placed mine on my custom made white bark tree and it really adds more to it and the detail of the whole build. Or if you're decorating an alleyway, it's a perfect decoration to add plus it adds extra lighting so it's basically two birds with one stone. Similar to that is a frog light lantern, this time with item frames on both ends and a weeping vines. Don't forget to add some string at the bottom so the weeping vines won't grow. And of course, you can hang them as well if you want. You just add the dragging head on top and it serves as a cool street lamp design if you're decorating a village. You can also change the weeping vines with spell blossom if you want a more aesthetic looking lantern, which I highly prefer. Number 7, I didn't want to forget the most obvious sliding design, which was the chandelier. For this, you're gonna need a stained glass to match the frog light you're using. Again, I'm using an ochre frog light, and since it has a yellow tint, I'm gonna use a yellow stained glass. Once you're done with the whole chandelier, you're gonna need a debug stick so we can connect the oak fence to the levers. This step is optional but I highly recommend it. And now we have an oak or front light chandelier. Here's what it looks like on the other frog light colors and if you don't like using a debug stick, let's say you're playing in bedrock edition or just don't want to use a command, we can fix that by using two armor stands instead. And yeah, it's a quick solution, honestly it looks much better with the armor stand instead of defense and it's survival friendly as well. You can also create a mini chandelier if you want a subtle approach to the whole build you're decorating. And I think this one's perfect to use on small rooms, dining areas, or a small staircase build. And yeah, there are more chandelier designs you can do with frog lights, and it's up to you to experiment and get creative with your build. Lastly, we have the frog light dance floor, which you can create by placing each color of the frog lights in random order and covering it with tinted glass. It looks great in a nighttime setting, in a dark room, especially at a nightclub if you're building one. That's all I have on frog light lighting ideas. I hope you enjoyed that showcase and the designs. Hopefully you'll find them useful for your builds or maybe show them to your friends if they ever need lighting ideas. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a comment and subscribe for more building content. Feel free to check out my socials and discord in the description below. I'll see you at the next one. Bye bye